Okay, this is going to be a quick video on how to get your Sega CD BIOS and your Sega CD Core, your Sega CD emulator to work uh, with RetroArch. Okay, I've tested it several times. Uh, I've tried to look at other videos and most people do not explain it very well. So I'm going to try my best. Hopefully this video is going to be the clearest out of all the other videos on YouTube, okay? So first you're gonna do a Google search. I'm not gonna tell you where to find it, but it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna find uh, this particular file, Sega CD Model 2 BIOS version 2.11. Uh, I accidentally found that this one is the perfect one that works, okay? So after you download this file, what you're going to do is you're going to extract it with WinRAR. After you extract it, you'll get this folder right here. Okay, Sega CD Model 2 BIOS. These other ones right here, Sega CD BIOS, uh, came from other sources, and I find that it just simply does not work. Okay, so, but anyway, so once you extract this, you will go to this folder right here, and this is the BIOS. Okay, it's a dot bin file. Uh, for whatever reason, my I think it was uh, another emulator S NES nine X somehow associate dot bin files with uh, SNES ROM files, but that's not the case. So for whatever reason, they just had it assigned there. Um, so we could just ignore that for the time being. But anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this. There you go. Computer's a little. Let's go copy this. Okay. And then you're going to go to your RetroArch folder. Usually it's installed in the C drive. Yours could be somewhere different. And then you'll go to RetroArch. Then you'll go to System. Right here and you'll paste it right here okay now you're gonna have to rename it properly okay you have to rename it to something similar to this this was the old bios uh, that one did not work uh, i had to rename the old bios to this, something like this and i ran it and it just gave me uh it gave you something totally not what I was expecting but anyways that's not very important what's important is you got to rename this file to something similar to this so what we're gonna do this is the new one that we just copied we're going to we're gonna copy this file name copy I put underscore old to indicate that it's not what it was supposed to be uh, yeah and we're going to go here and we're going to rename it and control V that is what it's supposed to be right here this is supposed to be the name of the file okay and then we'll go to RetroArch and then we will test this out we will go to the history of the game here's the Final Fight CD Let's run this guy. There you have it. It's running just fine. Let's take a look. I'm still here with you guys. a while to load up, you know, so. <laughs> now that you guys know that it works, I'll push F1 here to close the content. Okay. Push F to get out of full screen. Okay. This was the... 
BIOS that worked after I renamed it. Notice that when I do rename it back to something else, let's try to do that. Okay, let's go underscore works because it just works, right? The, the, the correct one. All right, we'll put the correct, underscore correct, okay. But let's go try this again on RetroArch. Uh, where was it? It's right here, okay. And let's try to run it again. Yep, failed to load content, as you can see right here. So it doesn't work. Let's try to rename it back to the correct one like that okay let's try it again yep oh, now it works again so there you have it folks that's how you set up your bios in retro arch and thanks for watching fellas okay have a good one